Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my brothers and sisters. The message I want to give out there is to everyone out there that's not praying. And I want to tell you your purpose in life is to worship Allah. And I'm sure you've heard this many times. When Allah created the malaika, when Allah created the angels, they had no free will. So by creation, they're forced to worship Allah. When Allah created the insan, the human, he states that if the human worships him, we become much more superior than the angels. Why? Because we're worshiping Allah through free will. He's created the insan and the jinn for nothing else but to worship him. That is our sole purpose in this dunya, my brothers and sisters. We are here in this dunya to be tested. The wealth, the children, the money, the assets, the, everything that you have is part of your trial. Your wealth and your children is part of your trial. Everything that you have is part of your trial. They're also your blessings. Your main purpose is to worship Allah, my brothers and sisters. Now, the shaitan, he said to Allah, he's going to lead as many of us astray as he can. And Allah says, whoever follows you, we follow you to the hellfire. You need to understand, my brothers and sisters, the shaitan, he's very devious. He's a ma'allim. He's a master at manipulation. He's a master at convincing you to do the haram. And he's a master at it. So what the shaitan has done to a lot of you is he tells you, not now. Don't pray now. Look what you're doing now. Now, if you do anything now, you're a hypocrite. How can you pray and you do drugs? Sister, how can you pray and you go clubbing? Or you're not wearing the scarf? You know, brother, how can you pray and you're mucking around with girls? This is the trick of the shaitan. To Allah to Allah, the one that pray, prays, he does his prayers, and he does all that, is better than the one that doesn't pray and is doing all that haram. Why? Because at least he's still got that connection with Allah and he's not refusing to worship Allah. You have to understand, Allah doesn't guide the wrongdoers. Every one of us, the ones that have started praying now, we've been broken in one part of our lives, we've been broken. And we've submitted our will to Allah. We said, Ya Allah, we need you to guide us and we need your help. Until this day, we still do this. Me personally, when I wasn't praying, Allah didn't just guide me like that. My life came to a downward and I broke. And I said, Ya Allah, help me, guide me. And I started to pray. Once I started to pray, once I came one step forward, he, he came running to me, Allah. And he helped me and he guided me. But I needed to make that action. I needed to start praying. Even though I was still doing haram, I continued to pray. So my brothers and sisters, brother, if you're doing drugs, if you're smoking pot, you're doing ice, no matter what you're doing, I'm telling you now, pray. Don't listen to anyone out there. Because this is a fard. This is the haq you are Allah. Sister, if you're not wearing the scarf, if you're doing whatever you're doing, I'm still telling you to pray. Because this is the fard and this is the haq that you are, you are Allah. And don't worry about anyone's criticism. Don't worry about anyone's judgment. Once you start praying, then Allah can guide you. Then you'll see contentment, you'll see happiness in your life. Allah says in the Quran, فَمَنْ عَشْرَ عَنْ ذِكْرِ فَإِنَّ لَهُمْ عَيْشَةً بَنْكَرَ Those that stay away from my remembrance, for them is a miserable life. But my brothers and sisters, those that don't pray, you know you're not happy. You know deep down you're not happy. The brothers that are doing drugs, brother, it's do the reason why you're doing drugs now is so you can be happy. My sister, you know deep down you're not happy. And I'm telling you now, you'll never find happiness and contentment only when you pray to Allah. No matter what you're doing, no matter what sin you're committing, pray to Allah and don't let the shaitan fool you because you're more of a hypocrite to call yourself a Muslim and continue to sin and not worship Allah. Like I said, it's better. Allah sees this as better. He sees better that you pray and you're still committing those, those sins but you're better off praying and committing those sins than committing those sins and not praying. Would you rather die in a state of not praying? How would you like? You don't know when you're going to die. So many young people are dying nowadays. How are you going to feel? How, how, what, would you prefer to die and you're not praying? That's the scariest thing ever because the first thing you get questioned about is the pray. And the Prophet وسلم, said the difference between us and them is the salah. And the Quran also states those that don't pray and follow their desires, he guarantees all fire for them. My brothers and sisters, I'm urging you for the sake of Allah. I'm saying this for the, because I love you for the sake of Allah. And I've been down this road. Pray no matter what you're doing, just pray. And don't worry about anyone's judgment. You should be concerned about pleasing the Creator and not the creation. Inshallah, I have not offended anyone. And inshallah, this message comes to you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.